Today I'm going to be looking at the audio tag in HTML5. Uh, you've seen a lot about the video tag, you've seen the canvas stuff and the speed comparisons and so on, but the audio tag is also a new addition to HTML5. Um, as far as I know only Firefox 4 supports it so far, but I haven't checked the other browsers. Um, anyway, what we have here is a bunch of examples. Uh, half of them edit existing audio and the other half create their own audio which I can't quite see an application for, but I'm sure someone will show me an example after I post this video. Um, and obviously the editing audio, if you've seen the YouTube video editor, the uh, web app version, I'm sure you can imagine some kind of web app where you can also edit the audio, uh, change uh, the graph, you can change the equalizer and so on, all inside the browser in real time. Now these demos aren't fantastic, uh, there is some popping, uh, but in general, I think you'll be very impressed. So let's just dive straight in to these demos. First, we have a graphic equalizer. And as you can see here, we have normal sliders. So we can take the bass out. bring back in a thumping bass riff Fortunately I can't drag this graph equalizer. Uh, let's see what else we have. We have a reverb effect. There's a cool tune here called The Rip Off. We can change the volume of the delay. So that's just the original song. This goes out to all my homeboys, especially Yansky or Yansky, however I say your name. Okay, that's the reverb effect. Now what else can I show you? Oh, we have a, a toy piano, which is as stupid as you think it would be. But if I show you, there's a proper sampling. Where's the sampler? Here's the sampler. Come on, sampler. You can do it. It's a bad time to be slowing down. Okay. So here we have a tune and a bunch of samples. So the basic tune. This is the banjo, apparently. And the guitar. And then we have a proper piano. Well, kind of proper piano. We can add some reverb. have a look at the actual audio generation. Writing audio. So this is stereo splitting and panning in the browser. I don't know if you'll be able to hear this with the microphone, but we'll try. So this is stereo in the middle. 
Let's bring it around to the right. Now bring it behind me. Now bring it to the left channel. And back to the middle. That's pretty cool. We have... What's the other one here? Ah, there's one here you can see where the actual processing... Although, no, never mind. This won't work very well in video. And to end, I want to show you a beat detector, which is a bit like Windows Media Player visualization in the browser. This actually requires WebGL as well, which I had to install to show you this. So this is all in the browser. Oh yeah. Okay, enough of that. And there's one cool beat detector. I think it was this one. Graviton. Nope, not that one. I think it's this one. Can I? Well, this is very cool, but I still can't. I was hoping I could interact with it in some way, but I can't. like a bad 1980s music video. For the one, this must be it, surely. Nope, that's not it, as cool as it is. Ah, here we go. I can draw in this. And it's also being generated by the music somehow. Right, enough of that. And that's the audio tag in HTML5. Um, I'm going to now go look and see if Chrome also supports these samples. Um, but I'm sure if it doesn't, it will by the time that Chrome 8 or 9 is released. Or I guess maybe even Chrome 10 by this time next year.